উমরায় ভোটের নাম কাঠে উমরায় কয় বাংলাদেশ আমার বাপ মাও থানীয় আমার ওই ওই এই জায়গাটি যাদের কেউ সাহারা নাই যাদেরকে কেউ হেল্প করার নাই যাদের খবর কেউ রাখে না তাদের তো এইভাবে দেখা যাবো ডিটেনশন ক্যাম্পে হয়তো তাদের মৃত্যু হবো Since 2017, when CJP began its work in Assam, our expertise has grown even as our conviction to stay the course has deepened. Every day of each week, our team of community volunteers, district volunteer motivators and lawyers ensures that paralegal guidance, counseling and actual legal aid is being provided to hundreds of individuals and families who have been paralyzed by the citizenship-driven humanitarian crisis in the state. This year, 2022, CJP's on-ground soldiers and our legal team kept pushing the boundaries of humanitarian work for the people battered by the citizenship crisis in Assam. Despite heavy floods that displaced many people in 35 districts of Assam and created huge difficulty for our own team in Assam to reach inaccessible regions, we managed to reach the families of many suspected foreigners or doubtful citizens and help them to fight their cases so that they were granted their Indian citizenship. The most notable people among them are almost a hundred year old Moina Berman from Dhubri who vouched to clear herself of being tagged a foreigner while she is alive. Asiya Bibi from Gualpara a 75 year old dalit woman called champa dash from chirang a differently able woman called mamtaz begum from gualpara a daily wage worker rup bhanu bibi from gualpara mohan roy from borpeta nazimuddin from tezpur jamila khatun from bongaigaon fajiran bibi from bongaigaon lakhon das from bongaigaon among many many others আঙ্গর বড়ডাগা মোহাম্মদ লিলালে আর সন্দেহ তো বাংলাদেশে কি আছে বছর সব ওকে আছে হাসরাত নাম হইছে তো কেসটা আর জন্য মানে আমরা আমরা খুব হতাশ হইছে হতাশ হওয়ার পর মানে বহুত ওগুলে ভুলে গেলাম ওগুলে কাজে গেছি ওগুলে মানে বহুত টাকা ডিমান্ড করছে তারপরে কম পেলাম তো সিজিবি থেকে একটা কেস গুলো ফ্রি করে তারপর মানে সিজিবি এর লগে মানে যোগাযোগ কইরে মানে কেসটা সারাতে স্যার সম্পূর্ণ ফ্রি হয়ে চলে গেছে কেসটা প্রায় শেষ শেষ হয়ে গেছে फॉरेनर्स ट्राइब्यूनल से जो नए नए नोटिस सब किया गया उसमें से ज्यादातर महिला को टारगेट किया गया है ऐसे बहुत केस मिले हैं जिन लोगों को हमने फॉरेनर्स ट्राइब्यूनल से इस साल डिक्लेयर इंडियन घोषित किया है और अभी बहुत फिलहाल केस कई सारे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में चल रही है दोरोंग हो धुबड़ी हो साउथ सलमरा मानकाजोर हो बंगाईगांव हो चिरांग हो बरपेटा हो बक्सा हो ऐसे बहुत सारे डिस्ट्रिक्ट में अभी फॉरेनर्स ट्राइब्यूनल में हम जो मार्जिनल्स पीपुल है उनके लिए केस चला रही है Through the entire pandemic, CJP has helped secure release of over 15 inmates from the dreaded detention camps of Assam. But our work didn't end there. We continue to visit each of these now released detainees and continue providing them with legal help and any assistance that they might need. These people belong to extremely marginalized and impoverished families. Hence it becomes crucial for an organization like ours to keep visiting them and making them feel heard and safe. From helping them to get back to their lives to assisting them in mandatory weekly visits to local police stations, hundreds of families get regular help from us. to fulfill any conditions imposed on them when they are released from the detention camps filhal to nahi tha abhi mera ladka hai mera teen ladka do ladka hai baad mein ye bhi hamara ladka teen ladka abhi koi bhi puchta hai na teen ladka ek ladki 
तो मैं जब भी आता हूँ या जब भी इस साइड आता हूँ तो जरूर एक बार मुलाकात करके ही जाता हूँ सीजीपी ने इस साल भी एक लीगल वर्कशॉप किया है मई के महीने में बरपेटा में और जिसके कारण अभी एफ में केस हैंडल के लिए करने के लिए बहुत ईजी हो चुका है क्योंकि जब वर्कशॉप हो चुका था उसमें जो सी से जुड़ा हुआ एडवोकेट से वो आए थे लॉ स्टूडेंट भी आए थे और पैरालीगल वॉलंटियर्स भी आए थे During the period when the NRC was being updated in Assam, as many as 500 CJP volunteers spread across 18 districts had helped 12 lakh Indian citizens compile documents and file applications for inclusion of their names. Back then, we had conducted training programs and workshops to empower our volunteers to offer paralegal assistance to people during the citizenship crisis. Even today, they reach around hundred families each month. This year, in May, we conducted another legal and paralegal training workshop, where 140 legal, paralegal, and community volunteers took part and learned from senior advocates of the Guwahati High Court about the nuances of the citizenship issue. and how to navigate the crisis in assam in march 2022 the guwahati high court granted 4 weeks time to the state of assam and the union of india as a final opportunity to file their respective affidavits in connection with the pil filed by us which raises concerns over the quality of legal aid being provided to those people in assam who were excluded from nrc In November 2022, CJP's Hate Watch campaign brought to the notice of National Commission for Minorities the vile and disparaging remarks made by BJP leader Shiladitto Dev. Within a month, the National Commission of Minorities took prompt action and has even sought an action taken report from DGP Assam. Today CJP continues to bring forth stories from some of the remotest areas in the state and attempt to make those a part of the mainstream so that more and more people read about their experiences and ordeals. The CJP team is continuing to help hundreds of people every day in correcting or making any changes in the draft voter list for 2023 in Assam. Our team is also holding mass awareness campaigns in many districts during this correction period. Right now we are also fighting multiple cases before the foreigners tribunals of Assam for people from low income backgrounds as well as those who are differently abled many of these people have no clue how to handle this process of defending their citizenship most express shock that their citizenship status is suspected considering they were born in this country amar bab thakwa amar thaku dada thakwa amar kaka thakwa amar bhai thakwa moddhe theke amar niye jabo na CJP's work in Assam addresses a humongous humanitarian crisis. This crisis reflects state and administrative apathy. Under these circumstances, CJP's team Assam soldiers on against all odds, braving physical stress and mental trauma to provide the kind of helping hand that only we are capable of. The injustices are far too many. The terrain widespread and challenging. We need more hands, more lawyers, more volunteers. To make that happen, we need you. Support our work in Assam.